Modern day bank robbers don't have to enter banks anymore. They can now target ATMs in ways that you would never imagine possible. This new high tech twist has become financial headaches for many of the banks in this country. Andrea Day investigates this cutting edge break in. It's brazen. It's in broad daylight in front of hundreds of people. Take a close look at this ATM attack caught on camera. The image is obtained from the Secret Service. And according to the agency, the guys you see in uniform are criminals grabbing loads of cash. And what left this seasoned investigator stunned? How normal it looked and, uh, and how calm they were. We know for a fact that ATM crime and fraud does cost the banking industry and financial services industry billions of dollars per year. David Tenty is the U.S. Executive Director for the ATM Industry Association. It just seems like in the U.S., no one really wants to talk about that. They'd rather not have their customers and others thinking that their ATMs aren't safe. According to the Secret Service, recent attacks like this one caught on camera cost banks more than three and a half million in just a few months. But they're just the beginning of a new wave heating up overseas. It's just a matter of time. Greg Naranjo is the assistant to special agent in charge. He says the Secret Service has been investigating training camps located outside of the United States, with kingpins organizing new recruits. Some training facilities are in South and Central America. Are you saying they're bringing in their foot soldiers into these schools, training them, and then letting them loose into the United States? Yes. We went to Toronto, Canada to meet with IBM's special unit, X-Force Red. We're in the business of attacking ATMs because our mission, hacking anything to secure everything. Charles Henderson heads up X-Force Red. The banks, he says, are so overwhelmed by attacks, they're quietly coming to X-Force for help. We're now sitting at a 500% increase since last year in testing demand. Henderson revealed an attack he thinks criminals could be fine-tuning right now. Does the hacker mastermind have to even leave his computer or touch this machine to make it work? No. The criminal can sit at home, send a street thug out to collect the money for them. To show how it works, IBM's David Byrne plays the role of the mastermind at some remote location, hacking into the bank's network. We intercept the traffic, the response from the bank, and change the deny response to an approval. The bank won't see that you've changed the no to a yes That's and correct. gotten in. It's completely invisible to the bank. Henderson plays the foot soldier. The street thug that the hacker mastermind sends out could conceivably sit here and just collect money after money until the ATM is empty. You can lose tens of millions, sometimes even hundreds of millions of dollars, and very quickly. So what can the banks do now? Test that ATM, just like a criminal would, before a criminal has a chance to. And he says the banks aren't the only ones losing out here, that some of the ATM fees are made to offset fraud. So when you pay that fee, you're really paying for insecure ATMs. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Andrea Day.